Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create a title block with editable attributes. By adding attributes to your title box, you can facilitate the entering and automation of text. Double clicking at the text will open up the editor. Here is where you will enter the new value that corresponds to your tag. Let's get started. First, we are going to start a new drawing. We will create a title block for a letter size 8.5 by 11. To start this, I will create a rectangular. I will click on the space for the first corner. I will either click on the dimensions right here on the command line or type in D and press enter. It will ask me for the specific length. We are doing 8.5 8 by 11. So I will start to put 11 first. It will ask me for the width, so I'll put in 8.5. It will ask for the orientation. I will just simply click on the space at the right side. Once we created the rectangular, we will need to check the paper space for the printable area by clicking on the layout at the bottom. Page Setup Manager will provide a plot size of this size. Once we're here, I'm going to check the dimension of the edge line to the broken line. The broken line represents the printable area. So roughly a quarter inch on all sides. Next, let's hit Escape and go back to the model. I will zoom in on the rectangle. I will highlight the rectangle. I will type in Offset. Enter. It will ha ask the distance, which is 0.25. Enter. I will then click the inner rectangle and type in explode. Enter. Now the lines will be individual. I'm going to type offset again. Enter. I will then put one feet. Enter. And escape. I will create a vertical line roughly around here. I'll check the dimension. And then I'll copy that. C O. Enter. I will create a horizontal line in the middle. And then in between of this. I'll just copy this. And then press escape. I will start creating the text by entering text. Enter. Project. Name. 
once I created that, I could just hit escape. I could just copy. I'll copy it again. And then I will change the text. Scale. Project number. Revision number. Press escape. You can also add company logos by going to insert. Rasta image. Locate your image file and press open. Press OK. You can scale it. Now we can start adding the attributes. Go to insert. Click Define Attributes, put the tag, notice that I didn't put any space between project and name, because if you do, this will happen. For the default, I put 4x and press OK. If in some reason you're not happy with your text height, you can also come back to define attributes again. Put in all your tag and default, and you can change your text height right here. For now, I'm happy with mine. I will just copy and I will just move it So once you finish copying, you will need to change the name by double clicking. And press OK. The date. Scale. project number revision number so once you're finished doing this we can now create a block out of this title block you can either click the create block or type in block block definition will open 
you can name this as title block one select all the objects and the important thing is pick point which should be on the bottom left side and then press OK let's check if this is working by double clicking here and as you can see we have the tags project name AutoCAD drawn by J date July scale number you can change it from here and by just applying it will change right here we can now delete our title block and let's go to our paper space go to insert insert and press title block press 0 comma 0 comma 0 and press enter let's fix the viewport and let's also fix the plot size by going to print DWG to PDF window center the plot apply to layout press OK We have the PDF here and then we have fixed the plot size. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.